welcome hey youtube fam welcome back to my channel obviously from the title you guys can tell that this video is about our asd or autism ASD? spectrum autism spectrum from disorder autism journey spectrum, my cake. are you gonna let mommy talk yeah okay so that's where we are that's right where now are. this is jay Shiana. he's four years old or he's turning four in a couple days um, and a few days ago, he was just diagnosed with a behavior disorder as one, well as two, being on the autism spectrum. Three. You counting for you two? Yeah. One. So two, basically, what this means is three, that he processes four, things differently five, than normal people. Go. And it's also characterized by Let other me. characteristics such as Ooh. I think the typical things are like sensory issues hand flapping, uh, lack of eye contact. He doesn't display- I'm on my channel. Welcome, hello, welcome to my channel. Nice, you got a channel? Yeah, I got a channel today. What's it called? It's a castle oh. and something like that. Okay. A cake. So he doesn't display all of the symptoms, but he does have like lack of eye contact um, unless he's initiating the conversation. He has sensory issues with his feet, um, and more recently, I would say within the last couple years, he's what? been having a water Two. sensory issue where he doesn't want Three. water like splashed Four. on him, and he really Five. wants to control the interaction with the water. So um, I'm not gonna say it's easy. It's not easy. It hasn't been easy. Um, he was delayed on a lot of things like speech. He didn't start speaking until he was almost three. He didn't start walking till he was almost two. So every leg of the journey has kind of been like meeting him where he yeah. is and kind of Hello, like welcome. basically accommodating Hello, him for the last welcome four years of his channel. life until who knows channel. when. Welcome. I don't want to use the word reverse, but through behavior interventions and speech language therapy, we can teach him to be more flexible and less rigid and obviously correct the behaviors that are difficult for us in everyday life. He's a very routine guy. He prefers to stick to the same schedule every day, which is another typical um, trait of someone that's on a spectrum disorder. Uh, they don't have a lot of flexibility and not sticking to a certain schedule typically leads to meltdowns, breakdowns, crying fits, things like that. So I've been trying to teach him that you don't have to cry when you don't like or understand something, that we can use our words. So all that is things that we're learning in behavior therapy. Do you need a hug? So like I said, obviously this is not something that's easy, but I just wanted to make a quick video just kind of being open and honest about something that is going on and is a really big um, part of our lives. Um, I have an older daughter, she's 10 years old. She is not on the spectrum. Um, everything was pretty textbook with her as far as from birth to age 10. So this is just a new experience for everyone, for me, his father, his sister. Um, we are gonna meet with a social worker to to see what kind of resources are available to us to help us better explain to his sister what's going on and to help her be able to interact with him better. Sibling rivalry is just something that's to be expected. However, she does need to look at him a little bit differently than she would a typically developing um, sibling. So I'm gonna take you guys with us on this journey and kind of let you know where we are. But this is us, you know, three days after diagnosis and life has not changed very much for us because the place where he's getting therapy has very long um, wait lists. The wait lists range from six months to an entire year. So we have a really long time before he can get any other inter interventions. Right now he has behavior therapy. So right now he has behavior therapy and then he gets speech language at school which by the way, Jay started school um, when he was three. He was in the pre three program and now he's gonna move on to the pre four program. It is a school program in the state of Maryland that is two and a half hours. It is not full day, but we do want him to have as much social interaction as possible because that's another thing that he lacks, um, the ability to be social with other children. So that's one of the things that we're hoping to, one of the behaviors we're hoping to correct. Um, but again, this is where we are. 
three days after diagnosis life is still the same right now but i'm going to keep you guys updated with all the progress we make different strategies that we're using to deal with his behaviors and hopefully it might help one of you um, that's on the same kind of journey that we are on Jay is very high functioning, so what works for us might not work for every child on the on the spectrum, but for any parents that have a child that is high functioning on the autism spectrum, this, this video is for you, these videos will be for you. I'm more than happy to share the things that I learned because I know how alone it can feel, especially if you're a single parent and you don't have somebody to be your support system. So I kind of want to be that because I know that I need support from an emotional standpoint. It can be draining um, when you kind of have to constantly battle with somebody. So again, I just want to open my life up to this community and provide support for you guys. And hopefully you'll support me and I will probably try to give you an update, maybe like once a month, just to see where we are and what we're working on. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in my next one. Jay, you want to come say bye? Yeah. Okay, say bye. Bye.